yes, that is my go-to method as well. You, you thread the chain around, but not through the derailleur, and then you just add on two links. You can do that method for one by two, but if you're running like a, say, a gravel bike drivetrain, so you've got like a massive cassette at the back, then in that instance, um, it's often recommended that you would add four links instead of two. So same process, but just add four instead of two. And different drivetrains vary as well. So when people start using oversized pulley wheel systems, they sometimes add in a couple more links for that as well. The best advice is, is maybe if you're not sure, do it four links, keep it a bit longer. And then once it's set up and you've got it in the stand, do, do the visual test, see where the rear derailleur is, is actually hanging, like when it's in the smallest sprocket and the biggest sprocket and see if the chain is too short that way um, because you know there might be specific things in each individual bike so yeah just bear that in mind